In this tutorial, we will explain how to use the Find Text functionality in the MapForce PDF Extractor. You will learn how to split a region based on a search term, group PDF data by search text, and also do a search in the PDF View pane. And in the second part, we will map the extracted PDF data to a JSON file. We have a new design and now we need a file based on which we will define a PDF extraction template. Let's take a look at our file and see how it's organized. The document contains a title page which is absolutely useless for our template, so we will skip it. Starting with the second page, there is a head on each page, which we don't need either. We want only article details. The details are organized into blocks. Each article starts in exactly the same way, which will help us split the data into articles more easily. As you can see, there are no lines inside the blocks. This makes it a challenging task to identify split positions, but we will show you how to find the best solution. We will process our document in stages. Let's start with the first one. The first stage is to collect all the pieces of information that we actually need into one long page. Our model tree includes only the root object. Our first step is to add a group filter object, which we can easily do via the toolbar. The group filter object can be used to organize data into groups and also to filter PDF data. In our case, we want to exclude the title page from processing. In order to do it, we need to select a different grouping type, and then indicate the pages we are interested in. This selects page 2 onwards, and the first page is now greyed out. Since we are using this object for filtering and not for grouping, we will also remove the name from the properties. This has also removed the group element from the tree. The next step is to decide on the area we want to split into snippets. We will use the region selection mode and then select the following region. Then we will right click the region and select the option Create Merge Source. Now we need to choose whether to apply the region to the current page only or to all the pages. In our example, we want to define the same region for all the pages. The Merge Source object enables you to cut out snippets from different pages and then you can join them together into a single merge target. The PDF extractor already prompts us to create a merge target object Let's click this command in the toolbar. The Merge Target object treats all the collected snippets as a single group of pages. But now we have an issue. The details of some articles span across two pages, and we don't want to treat them as separate pieces of information. That's why we need to glue all the pages into a single collage. And at the next stage, we will split the collage into the correct snippets. But first, let's add a collage object to the model tree. The next stage is to split the result produced by the collage into snippets, with each snippet representing one article with its details. Let's add a split object as a child of the collage. When we click in a child object, we can see the result produced by the parent object. In this case, the collage has produced one single page without any breaks or gaps. Besides, the PDF extractor has already identified potential split positions using the Find Lines of Edges method. In our case, this method doesn't help much because it won't split the data correctly. That's why we will try a different method called Find Text. This method is advantageous when you have repeating pieces of text along which you want to split your document. Split positions are identified based on a search term. Our search term is article number. So as not to type the term manually, we will first switch to the text selection mode. 
and then we will select this piece of text. After that we will right click the selection and assign the text to the whole match structure. Not only is the text itself is pasted but also all its properties are filled in. And now we can also see the correct split positions. Now we need to organize the article details into groups. Let's also give the group a meaningful name. And you can immediately see the changes in the output pane. We have a lot of article elements but no article details yet. First of all, we need to create a text capture that will represent an article's number. So let's select the first number on the page and turn it into a region. We also need to expand the region just in case numbers get bigger over time. After that, we will turn the region into a text capture. The capture will appear on each page. The name of the text capture is number. The next stage is to identify how to split each article into separate blocks and organize this information into two groups based on a search term. Let's add another split object. We also need to adjust its settings. Since the default method doesn't produce reliable results, we will select the Find Objects method. This method searches for anything that is not the background. The background is defined in the properties. In our case, the algorithm will identify any non-white objects and a split position will be placed at the beginning of each object. Just to be on the safe side, we will increase the minimum extent property to 10pt. This means that objects smaller than 10pt will be ignored and not considered for finding potential split positions. As you can see, the algorithm has identified the split positions very accurately. Now we need the first group that will deal only with names and descriptions. To eliminate the snippets we do not want, we will apply the group by text grouping type. Since the words article details appear in each article, we will use these words as a search term. We will select the text article details and assign this text to the match structure of the group object. The snippets that do not contain the search text have been grayed out. Let's also remove the name of the group because we don't want any additional nesting in the tree at this stage. Next we need to create the text captures that will represent the name and description of an article. The name of the first text capture will be name. For the second text capture, we will set the bottom edge to the bottom of the snippet. This way, multi line descriptions will be captured fully. The name of this capture will be Description. We are done with the first group and now let's work on the second group that will deal with the store details. This group will be the sibling of the first one. Let's name this group Store Details. We need the same grouping type as in the first group. And the search term will be store details that appears consistently throughout the whole document.
Since we have two different stores, we need to create a text capture for them. The capture will be called store. At this stage, our goal is to extract information about available sizes in each store. We already have pretty good results. Each article is nicely organized and has all the details except for the available sizes. To get the sizes, we will add another split object. We will use the find objects method. We only need to adjust the region to help the algorithm to find the right split positions. Let's also set the minimum extent property to 5pt. We also want to group the sizes into an element called Available. The last step is to add two text captures that will represent the sizes and the number of items in stock. This capture is called Size. And this capture is called in stock. As you can see, all the details have been extracted successfully. The definition of the PDF extraction template is now complete. There is another great feature we would like to highlight. You can do a search in the PDF View pane and also in the Output pane. To invoke the Find dialog, we need to click inside the pane of interest and use the combination of the Ctrl and F keys. The dialog has popped up. Let's assume we want to look for articles of size M. We get a lot of matches, but not all of them are useful. Since the size consists of exactly one word, we can restrict the search using the match case and match the entire word options. Now we can jump back and forth between the search results. For details about the search functionality in the output pane, please refer to our documentation. Our last goal is to map the extracted PDF data to a JSON file. Let's add our template and instance file to the mapping. Next, we need our JSON file. After that, we will connect the nodes. Let's take a look at the output. This completes our overview of the search text functionality in the PDF extractor. You can test all these features yourself. Simply download the fully featured 30-day free trial from the Altova website.